Can you believe we are in May? Uh, it feels like this year is flying by, um, but it's great to be with you guys again. Thanks for staying committed uh, to just meeting together and having these conversations about why the Word of God matters and the wisdom for the one who made the road. Um, so over this past weekend, the teaching revolved around this scripture passage um, that said, uh, fathers, do not embitter your children or they may become discouraged. Um, they, we took that illustration of the difference between what it means to be a coach and what it means to be a critic. Um, and as a critic, you're doing some things that aren't very helpful. It discourages kids. But as a coach, um, there's some really specific characteristics I want to mention again just to get your brain moving back in this mindset. So characteristics of a coach, they engage they warn, they help them hide in the world, they help them hide the word word in their heart. Uh, they provide good discipline, they show and tell, so they don't just tell them what it looks like, they show what wisdom means in their life. They identify with them and they encourage them and love them. So as we look at uh, group questions this week, think about that. What does it mean to take the, our, our probably nat, natural instincts to be a critic and to point out the things that are wrong and to be a coach. What does it mean to coach them through things even when it's hard? Even when moments when we want to be like, no, don't do, walk along them in those moments. So let's jump right into group questions here a minute. Um, the first one says this, if I can find it. Question number one, share about a time when someone showed genuine concern for you. What did they do? Question number two, when you consider children in our world now, um, what concerns do you have for them? Question number three, how did your parents typically show concern? Uh, how did that make you feel? Question number four, um, and we referenced this right in the beginning, but I want to read part of it again here. Colossians 3 verse 21 warns fathers, um, and really meaning both parents, warns parents not to embitter their children. And that word actually means to stir up strife, to arouse anger, to provoke, to uh, irritate, to incite, to be a bad example. Um, what? Here's the question in this. What are some ways we might do these things? Look at, at the list one by one and think, how are these things in my life right now? Question number five. Uh, we look to Proverbs to find ways to show our concern like a good coach um, rather than a critic. Which one of these stands out to you um, when you think about being a good coach. Engage, warn, help them hide the word in their heart, provide good example, show and tell wisdom, identify with them, encourage them, love them. Which one of those words stood out and how can you start putting those things into your life? And as always, uh, are there anything, is there anything that stuck out to you in this week's teaching or in the devotions? Um, and then make sure you guys end in prayer together. See what's, what's going on in each other's lives. And don't just pray today for them. A follow up in the next week. How is that going in their lives? Um, I, there is so much power that comes from praying together and as a group, so I strongly encourage you guys to do that tonight. Um, as you wrap up, if you've got time, the Digging Deeper section um, is talks about what does it mean to have spiritual, tr ch spiritual children uh, that maybe aren't your own, um, and what responsibility do we have towards them? 
Uh, what does it mean to bring up kids in the faith that may not be our own? Uh, if you have time, uh, spend some time in there. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you soon.